All right, everyone, uh, got the SRAM Eagle Axis XO transmission installed on the 2022 Santa Cruz Heckler V9. And this thing was so easy to install, it's ridiculous. I mean, anyone can do it. It's so simple to set it up. Uh, it's watch the YouTube video that SRAM has on setup and it's, I mean, it's so easy, it's, it's awesome. Uh, it's just shifting through the gears on this up on the stand right now. It's just so smooth and no issues and it's crazy how well it works with uh, no uh, B adjust screws, no limit screws or anything. It's awesome. I love it already. I can't wait to get it out and try it. Um, so, yep, it's all good. I just got to get this uh, torque to the 35 Newton meters. I snugged it up pretty good though. And, uh, yeah, this thing is good to go. The only thing I'm worried about is the, uh, like I said, this Hope chain ring I got. Um, not really sure. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't really look like it totally fits on the chain ring correctly. Um, yeah, it's hard to tell. Um, just seems like it could go on the uh, chain ring a bit more from where it's at. Um, so I'm not really sure if I wanna go ride it like this until I can find the uh, proper SRAM chain ring for this EP8 motor because I don't want to damage this uh, $1,600 system I just installed. Um, but I do have the, uh, five dev crank arms and 160 millimeter and then rocking the, uh, Yoshimura Chaleo, I think is how you say it, the, uh, pedals on this thing. So we are good to go until I can figure out the, uh, chain ring. And, um, I did, uh, end up changing the, uh, pod controller up here. So I just uh, ended up putting it on the uh, left side of the uh, clamp for the uh, brake, and that works out perfect with where it's at. And like I have it now, it's perfect right here. It's set up on it, it's awesome. I uh, I always flip-flop the shifting on it, so to the up button, you're going to go up into the um, bigger, or the granny gears, and then shifting down is just like going into the the uh, higher gears down down the cassette so pretty much shift down to go down the cassette shift up top button to go up the cassette and uh yeah it's pretty good i think right there where it's at uh let me know what you guys think uh so far on this bike right now i got the uh fox 38 factory on it with the grip 2 dampener and i did uh end up putting the um smash pot coil conversion in it i'm at 170 millimeter of travel on it uh, i went with the uh, green skf fork seals on it when i got it and i did some custom uh, fox uh, decals on it as well and then running the uh, dt swiss ex 511 rims with uh, industry 9 uh, Hydra hubs on it. These were from my track. These EX 511s are bulletproof. I haven't had a single issue with them in like 450 miles. Spokes are all still tight. Wheels are true. Really good. Decided to try out these new Continental tires on it. Um, these are the Argatol, I think is how you say it. I got on the front. And then I got the Continental uh crip total on the rear these are just the regular trail casings so uh it's the only thing i could find in stock at the time and uh hopefully i don't get any punctures or anything on the sidewall because it doesn't really have that extra casing protection on them uh, but i want to try them out uh, i've always ran the uh, maxis out here in arizona the uh, dhr2 in the rear and then either the uh, dhf or asagai in the uh, front works really well out here in the uh, desert riding and uh, lots of good feedback on these new Continentals, a lot of good reviews on them, so uh, it'd be nice to try those out as well. Uh, also running the, um, I can't really get over there, but 
Um, I'm running uh, the uh, Hope e-bike wave rotors, or I'm sorry, not Hope, they're uh, Gelfer uh, e-bike wave rotors, uh, 223 millimeter front and rear with the uh, Hope Tech 4 V4 brakes with the uh, green race brake pads in them. I also have uh, the centered brake pads that I ran in my uh, previous on my Trek. And I'm going to try these new uh, green race brake pads, see how they are. And uh, maybe go back to these uh, centered on it. But um, running the uh, DHX2 coil shock on it with the Sprindex spring on it where you can adjust the different uh, weights for the spring. I already got my sack set up, I think, pretty good. I got it set, I think, at 545 pounds. Or the spring rate on it, yeah, 540 or 545. Uh, so I'll try that out. I really want to get the uh, the Estoria uh, coil shock that's uh, specific for e-bikes, uh, made by EXT, I believe. They're local or not too far up in Colorado, but they're a little pricey. I think they're on about 1150, but. To get it all custom set up for your weight and riding and everything like that, so may eventually upgrade to that. And then I also have a um, a new uh, reverb axis dropper post. Originally had a, a one fifty on it, and uh, the seat or this uh, tube on it was sticking up a lot higher, so I wanted to get it down as far as as far as I could. So I went with a one seventy. And it seems to uh, work pretty good. It's almost bottomed out where it's at right now. So it ended up working out perfect. And then running the uh, SDG Bell Air 3 saddle on it. Ergon GA3 grips. Love these things with the little wings. They really help on your wrists. Uh, got the stock Santa Cruz um, carbon bars on it. Cut, cut them down to 780, uh, might go down to 770. That's what I did run on my Trek, but see how they are. And then I installed this pretty sweet Yoshimura stem on it a few nights ago, the ENDH stem. Uh, it's a 42 millimeter length on it, and this thing's really sweet. It's only got a uh, 23 and a half millimeter stack height on it. And uh, as you can see, that's why I got so many spacers, because the um, steer tube, uh, the previous stem, I think was like a 42 millimeter stack height. So this thing's about half. So I'm not sure if I want to uh, cut some more off the steer tube up on the top, but I'm gonna ride it where it's at now and see how it is. It does have a, a 35 millimeter rise built into it. And then the bars are also a 35 millimeter rise. So I went with uh, about 25 millimeter spacers underneath it. I'm just going to see how comfortable that is or um, if I need to make any adjustments after I go out and uh, ride it. So uh, it's pretty much, yeah, Bike Check 2022 Santa Cruz Heckler V9 with the uh, new SRAM Axis XO transmission installed on it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know.